Welcome to Church at Home. My name is Jerry, and welcome back to another week of Jerry Reviews, where I, Jerry, am back to review another round of comics, and today's episode is gonna be awesome. Our Bible story today is about Jesus ascending to heaven over and over. Jesus told his disciples what was gonna happen and what he was gonna do so that they would know it was really him and trust him. It reminds me of some of the crazy cool outfits and gears that superheroes have. Superheroes are defined by their awesome uniforms. So today, on Jerry Reviews, it's all about ranking the best superhero merch. I'm so excited. We got an awesome set already, but I'm always excited to add more stuff to it. So today on Jerry Reviews, it's all about ranking the best superhero merch. I'm so excited, but before we do that, let's jump into our memory verse song to prepare for this awesome Bible story. Hebrews 6.19 says, This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. Let's sing it together. Wow, God is our hope. That means that we have a reason to believe things will be okay and that God is good. His promises that we read about in the Bible give us hope that he's always with us. One of those promises is found in the story of Jesus' ascension to heaven. After his time on earth, Jesus was preparing to go back to heaven. But before he did that, he said something really important to his followers. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. God is with us. This is Jesus. hey -o. Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing. And they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. Huh? Hey ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit, 
just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. Did you guys catch that part where Jesus said, I will be with you always? That is so comforting. That means that even when we feel alone, God promises to be near us. Even though we can't see him, he's with us and those who believe in him through his helper, the Holy Spirit. So remember when I was talking about superheroes and what defines them? I think it's time to head over to the store and see what superhero things we can find. There are so many places that we can go to look for superhero merch. So to keep it even and have a level playing field, let's get this episode of Jerry Views started. I'm going to Target. What's up guys, Jerry with Jerry Reviews. Today we're gonna check out Target and see what kind of superhero merch they got. Let's go. All right, Target's got awesome stuff in here, but we wanna head straight to that toy aisle. Oh, baby Yoda. Oh my goodness. Oh, not the Disney princess aisle. Let's go down this way. The helicarrier, that's awesome. The Hulk Buster armor. I might need to get one of these. We got some sweet Batman stuff. Look at this Batmobile classic. Batmobile right here. Iron Man, more Spider-Man, Captain America right here. Look at his motorcycle. Okay, so for the Lego round, I gotta give it to the Avengers. They got a lot more stuff here. Let's check out what else we got. Not a lot of people know this, but did you know the X-Men are also Marvel? Black Widow in a white costume for her upcoming movie and multiple different Spider-Men. Oh my gosh, we even have Spider-Gwen right here. Look at this, Marvel. Marvel is kind of, where's all the DC stuff? This is what I was looking for today. This is what might throw me over to the Marvel side, but DC, I'm still holding out hope. Let's see what you got. Guys, can you imagine having real web shooters? The toys they come up with, man. Look at this, Captain America's shield, and you can actually launch it. Guys, just take a look at this. This is the DC section. This, all of this is the Marvel section. Ooh, this is a pretty cool Superman action figure. I do like this a lot. Another Batman. Oh, do you see that catch? Do you see that save right there? Because it's the hero Gotham deserves, but not the one it needs right now. Maybe I'm a superhero, who knows? This thing's pretty cool though. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Look at this Batmobile. Batmobile and Batplane, two in one. Come on, that's awesome. Guys, do you know what this is? A remote control, giant Batmobile. I don't know what this does, but I'm trying it. Coolest thing ever. Guys, so we just wrapped up at Target, but let's head back to the studio and we'll debrief there. Now that we're back from our Target run, it's time to decide what superhero has the best merch, and I think it's down to Batman and Spider-Man. Batman had some sweet action figures and that Batmobile, but Spider-Man also had a bunch of cool action figures and even a web slinger. I mean, come on, you can't compete with that. Can you imagine actually being able to sling a web? That's awesome. Web slingers are awesome, and Spider-Man officially has the best merch. Man, now I need to read some Spider-Man comics to celebrate. Let's see if I have any here. Nope, I guess I gotta go get some. Did you guys know that Saddleback Kids also has their own comics? It's called Anchor Origins and it's sweet. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Pastor Sean is hanging out in the SK Comic Studio now. Let's check it out and see what he has to say. supposed to be evil's gotten too comfortable in our town I'm the chaos that will disturb their methods I'm cyclone 
<laughs> hey guys, you're, you're actually not supposed to read comics like that. It's just a weird thing that I do. Well, <laughs> hey guys, um, so we've been hanging out in this series learning about uh, these different promises from God. Now, we've also been learning about how life can leave us feeling all these different types of feelings and emotions. Um, it's a lot like what these guys are going through in this comic. This is a this is a really cool story. So I'd encourage you to check this check this out when you get a chance. Guys, God's promises are the anchor for our soul. Now today we're talking about how God is always near us. Now it's tough to be far away from someone you love, right? I mean, sometimes it's lonely when we're away from those that we love. We want to be close to the ones, to, to those we love, right? So we can talk to them, we can hug them, and frankly, so we can just enjoy time together with them. Guys, it's the same in our relationship with God. He loves us. He wants us to be near Him. He wants us to enjoy time. Uh, he, wants to, he, he wants to enjoy time with us and, and help us and guide us. If, if you remember from our Bible story, after Jesus died on the cross and rose again, He appeared to His disciples. He gave them instructions about what was going to happen next. And when Jesus returned to heaven, the disciples knew He was still with them because of the Holy Spirit. Just like Jesus had said, just like Jesus was near to the disciples, guys, He's also near to us through the power of His Holy Spirit. He speaks to us through His Word and the Bible. He guides us and comforts us through the Holy Spirit as well. Whenever you feel alone or afraid, or have a hard time making a decision, I want you to remember this. God loves you. He wants to help you. He wants to protect you and, and to guide you. His promise says He's always near you and He will be with you forever. Guys, that's it for now. Thanks for hanging out with me in the Skomic Studios here at Saddleback Church. I can't wait to see you back next week. See you guys. What's that? The Anchor Emergency Signal. Thanks, Pastor Sean. That was great. You reminded me about how sometimes we feel lonely when we aren't with people we love. Have you ever felt that way? I know I have. I love spending time with my friends and family, but I bet sometimes God feels that way about us. He loves us and wants to spend time with us, which is why he promises that he will never leave us. He's always there waiting for us, even when we start to feel far from him. We can remember he's with us by reading stories in the Bible about times he was with his children or making a habit of talking to him every single day through prayer. So remember, he's always there and he's ready to listen. We're never truly alone. It was so great being with you today and learning about how God promises to be with us. I had such a great time, I enjoyed my target run, and I can't wait to play with these web slingers. And parents, remember, we have so many more activities available for you and your family at SaddlebackKids.com. See you guys next week.